10 ways to screw up the profit in your interior design business. Don't do this, part one. So one of the biggest things I see designers doing that absolutely limits your success and crushes profit is being afraid of your clients. Don't do this. Your clients, remember, come to you because you can do things that they can't. Your clients come to you because they don't know if they should turn left or right. You know exactly which way they should turn. So be the authority, be the expert. Being afraid of your clients can manifest in three different ways. Number one, being afraid to set the timeline. A lot of designers let clients dictate. And remember, clients want things in a hurry or last Tuesday. But you have a clear process, a beginning, middle, and an end. You have to set the timeline. Another important thing that you need to set with your clients right up front is managing expectations. And when you're afraid of your clients, you're not having those discussions about what you will do, what you will not do, why you will be doing things, why you will not be doing certain things. You're the professional, you're the expert. You need to guide your client through a process path. And another way that being afraid of your clients manifest, which is not good, is being afraid to have those money discussions. There's no such thing as a tough money discussion. Budget is just part of process. It's just a part of the process like a paint chip or a fabric swatch. And you're not afraid to talk to your clients about those as well. So you need to be real clear with your clients, whether they are in the vetting stage as prospective clients or whether they're signed clients. Address budgets, address the spend, address the investment upfront clearly and dispassionately. There is no fear in design, right? You're the expert. Being afraid of your clients is one of the surest ways to hurt your design business and crush your profit. So don't do that.